All right, tonight's brief Hannity history lesson. The current DOJ rules governing the report's release. By the way, the attorney general has full control. He decides, nobody else. But they were widely backed by the Democrats. Remember, two decades ago after the Starr report was released, and what the Democrats wanted was designed to make the special counsel more accountable to the public. How ironic, the same people that wanted to limit the release following Starr's findings are now pushing to get the full report. No redactions. And Democratic stunts like this don't stop there, as they're now taking steps towards, get this, issuing subpoenas for Mueller's report. And by the way, they want grand jury uh, interviews and material, which would be illegal last time I checked. Joining us for the very latest House Freedom Caucus, Chairman Mark Meadows, the author of An Introductory Explainer to the Mueller Report, Harvard Law Professor Alan Dershowitz is back with us. Uh, all right. Oh, let me start with you, uh, uh, Professor. Last time I checked, releasing... Oh, somebody's calling for one of you. Um, releasing grand jury materials... Oh, that would be Professor Dershowitz. Hello, this is Sean Hannity. Professor Dershowitz is lying. Can I help you? <laughs> um, uh, before releasing grand jury... It's illegal, correct? And redactions for sources and methods and maybe people who are innocent in all of this, whose names are mentioned, that would be normal, although Barr doesn't have to reveal a thing, does he? No, uh, there's, there's nothing in the regulations that require him to reveal anything. And the best test is the shoe on the other foot test. When we go back to Comey's statement, if Comey had said, we're just not going to indict, Hillary Clinton on the emails and the Republicans said wait a minute we heard you have a report that says she was extremely careless we want you to release that the Democrats would have jumped up and down and say no 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 prosecutors don't say anything negative about people they haven't indicted all they're supposed to do is announce no indictment well suddenly everything has changed and it's the Democrats who want to know why there wasn't charges. They want to know what the split was between those who wanted a charge and not charge an obstruction of justice. The law doesn't authorize that to be released. If the Attorney General wants to do it, that's within his discretion. But no court should order the Attorney General in the executive branch to release grand jury material and other material to the legislative branch, certainly without the approval of the court. So we're, we're seeing rampant hypocrisy, and we've seen it on both sides. If the shoe were on the other foot, I think we'd see Probably Republicans some calling for the release of disagree. material of the Democrats. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah. I agree with Trey Gowdy. I don't think they should release any of it, Congressman Meadows. It was definitive on collusion. If collusion is not a crime, and, you know, okay, so the Attorney General and even Rod Rosenstein agreed in very quick order not based on any principle that whether or not or argument that you can indict a sitting president on the merits they said no this doesn't rise to any level of indictment but grand jury materials um not eliminating executive privilege um sources methods innocent people frankly the democrats said we shouldn't do it i think maybe they're right in this case let's give them what they wanted well, you know, it's amazing what a little bit of good news for President Trump will do to my Democrat colleagues. You have Adam Schiff, Chairman Schiff, who, as you, as you pointed out, was saying, no, we can't release anything that's classified. We can't, we can't afford to put our national security in jeopardy. But yet here, he says, I don't care what's in there, release it all. You got Jerry Nadler, who switched and flip-flopped and said now he's going to subpoena this, even grand jury material. Listen, both sides uh, look at this uh, differently. But I can tell you right now, this is all about a narrative, a narrative that the Democrats have had for 22 months that, that went away that, uh, because their lies were not borne out in the Mueller report. And now what they're trying to do is change the narrative and pick and choose little parts so that they can go after the president once again. Congressman, there are going to be criminal referrals issued this week by Chairman Nunes. Um, there are going to be the president I interviewed last week. There will be the FISA applications released. There will be 302s released. There will be Gang of Eight material. We we've identified five buckets of information that will be extraordinarily damning. I know that to be the case based on all of my sources. Is that a good idea? Because I think you want to be you want transparency. I don't think they're going to like that when that comes out.
Well, they're not going to like that, uh, Sean, but I think uh, you've got the professor on tonight. It's all about civil liberties and making sure those civil, civil liberties are protected. And if we cannot uh, count on our government to protect those precious rights to privacy without uh, you know, warrants mm -hmm. and, and warrantless searches, then we've got a real problem. And so some of those criminal referrals are justified. Certainly some of the declassification that gets to the bottom of this is justified. At the same time, we do need to protect our national security interest. A hundred percent and sources of methods. You know, the most thing, Professor, the let thing... me ask you, though, I want to ask you this. Sure. They're going to call back now to re-interview. Many people, they don't make a lot of money. A good attorney in Washington, I'm imagining, is close to a thousand dollars an hour. What, for the same questions? For how many times must people be harassed like this? And why don't they just say, I plead the fifth. I stand by my prior testimony. Well, they shouldn't plead the fifth because that, for many people, implies guilt. Remember that when the House Un-American Activities Committee and the Senate did that back in the McCarthy period, the courts finally put an end to it and said, enough's enough. You can't just harass people and call people in order to expose them. You have to have a legitimate well, what if they misremember purpose? something from testimony a year and a half ago? They're gonna, they decide if it's perjury or lying to Congress. There's no question. Perjury traps can... Perjury traps can be fallen into by innocent people. If an innocent person testifies truthfully and somebody else testifies the other way, and if prosecutors choose to believe the other person, you've fallen into a perjury trap, which is why the president was right not to testify uh, to Mueller. 100%. And why I think civil libertarians ought to be very concerned about exposing to criticism one-sided report which only saw one side of the story and didn't result in indictments. That's traditionally not done, and at least the courts have to be asked to come in and decide yeah. what can be shown and what can't that come from grand juries. Let's have the same civil hey, Maybe Democrats everybody. might want to give up on the same investigation they had. The FBI investigation, two congressional investigations, no collusion, no obstruction, give it up. Maybe solve problems and serve the people that put you there. Just an idea. Thank you both. Hey, I'm in favor of that. Joining me now, Byron York, chief political correspondent for the Washington Examiner and a Fox Business contributor, and his columns are always must read. Byron, thanks very much. Uh, and I'll get to one of your columns in just a moment. But I want to put up a tweet that the president sent out about the Mueller report, and here it is. No matter what information is given to the crazed Dems from the no collusion Mueller report, it will never be good enough. Um, is that a valid point that they will never really accept its uh, conclusion of no collusion? Well, certainly they want to get every single sentence, every punctuation mark in the whole thing. Uh, and you're right, if, if at that point there still is nothing they can use to allege collusion, yeah, they'll, they'll still be unhappy. I am one of these people who thinks that the whole report should be released, and the thing that's mysterious to me, it might be to you too, I don't know, is why the report was not prepared with release in mind right. on the day that it was announced that it was completed. Uh, why we're having this period where they're going through these things that they could have gone through before announcing it was finished, I don't really understand. Yeah, I mean, Mueller, as a prosecutor for decades, well knows the law about grand jury testimony, unindicted individuals, and classified material. So I, I you know, I mean, I think that's a valid point. Um, I, I did read, I think it's your most recent column, in which you quote Dowd as saying he was, and which is President Trump's lawyer, mm -hmm. um, saying he was told by Mueller in March of last year that um, they didn't have any evidence of collusion. Uh, expand on that, if you will, because as I read it, it's like, wow, for a year, Mueller is known. No collusion. Yeah. Well, Robert Mueller was appointed in May of 2017. <coughs> John Dowd became the president's lawyer the next month in Ju June of 2017. And in a long conversation, Dowd told me that by Christmas of that year, 2017, Dowd had all the evidence. He talked to the people at the White House. He, uh, Dowd, excuse me, Mueller had all of that evidence and had talked to everybody. And Dowd felt that Mueller had had enough, had enough information to decide that there had been no collusion. They had this meeting that's kind of contentious on March 5th, 2017, in which Dowd is urging uh, Mueller to, you know, get on with it. You've got everything. Just make a decision and close up. And uh, Mueller was saying, I got to talk to the president. 
And Dowd was saying, well, look, we gave you everything. We gave you the confidential notes of conversations. We've given you everything. There's, there's nothing more you could really get by talking to the president. And then um, uh, Mueller said, well, I might have to subpoena him. And that's when things got kind of rough. And right. Dowd basically said, you, want, you do that, you're going to have a war and you're not going to win. So things went downhill in terms of their relationship after that. But it's truly amazing that, in other words, America had to endure yet another year of the collusion investigation when Mueller well knew that there was no evidence of collusion. I want to uh, turn, if I may, to uh, this debate over classified information. Nancy Pelosi, in February of 2018, so more than a year ago, a year and a couple of months, said this when the president released some classified information. President Trump has surrendered his constitutional responsibility as commander-in-chief by releasing highly classified and distorted intelligence. So wait a minute. Now she wants the attorney general to release classified I information? I know. Well, there's two types, big types of material in this report that you have to go through some hoops to release. And one is the grand jury stuff we were talking about, which, by the way, if the Justice Department <laughs> goes to a judge, they can get permission to release it. That was what happened in the Star Report. Lots of grand jury stuff there. And then the other thing is classified information. And I've, I'm really of two minds about that. Some of that stuff undoubtedly is overclassified. I'm sure there's stuff that's classified always. that doesn't need to be, because you're right, that's always the case. Now, if there is some stuff that Mueller and the Justice Department can make a genuine case that it would endanger some important American national priority that could be redacted. But uh, I'm not buying the idea that everything that's classified <laughs> in there has to stay classified forever. Are you kidding? If the DOJ or the FBI orders Chinese takeout, it's classified because, you know, it's the Chinese. Remember the stuff that Devin Nunes was trying to get out of the Justice Department, and he had, he had put together a, a, a report about how this uh, the FISA warrant was prepared and some of the dossier stuff, and basically the Justice Department said the world will end and people will die if this is revealed. <laughs> the president declassified it, and neither one right. of those things happened. Yeah, gee, the earth did not stop spinning on its axis. We didn't all fall into the sun. Amazing. I was so shocked. Byron York, great columns as always. Thank you so much for being with us.